Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. News from Western Armenia. By disseminating this information, Azerbaijan covers the violations of ceasefire, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan and Defense Minister David Donoyan pay tribute to April war victims. 34 new cases of coronavirus confirmed in Armenia. The total number of infected is 770. Heavy mud flow in Tigranagert, Western Armenia. 2,500-year-old tree discovered in Maraj, Western Armenia. New preventive measures have been taken in Western Armenia due to the new coronavirus. Entry and exit from 30 major cities in Van province has been completely banned. The ban which was announced for the first 15 days will continue if the epidemic intensifies. Due to the snow that started in Imranli province of Sebastia in the evening, the center of the province and the highlands were covered with a thick layer of snow. Historic Karahan Tepe in Urfa, which belongs to the Neolithic period and is similar to Port Asar, claims to be the new face of Western Armenia. There are 250 T-type stones here. Excavations were planned here during the spring, but due to the weather conditions and coronavirus, the process was delayed. An earthquake of 4.7 magnitude was recorded in Van province, Western Armenia on April 3 at 8 a.m. local time. The epicenter is located in Dushpa province. There were no casualties or injuries. The spokesman of Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Armenia, Anand Aldarian, condemned the spread of the false information by Azerbaijan over the situation on Armenia-Azerbaijan border and Artsakh-Azerbaijan line of contact, the aim of which is covering up or justifying Azerbaijan's own violation of the ceasefire and international humanitarian law. Let us remind that on March 30, a minor of Voskevan village of Davos region and two servicemen were wounded as a result of the ceasefire violation by the armed forces of Azerbaijan. It needs to be emphasized that during this military incident, the Azerbaijani armed units targeted the child within a civilian infrastructure, which is a clear violation of the international humanitarian law. It should be noted that such developments particularly emphasize the importance of implementing the agreements of risk reduction and the establishment of effective of international mechanism to this end, Nagdalian noted. Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan visited the Yarablur military cemetery on April 2 to pay tribute to the memory of the fallen soldiers of the 2016 April War and the Artsakh Liberation War. Prime Minister Pashinyan laid flowers at the graves of the April War victims, military commander Andra Nikozanyan and Vazgen Sarksyan. Nikol Pashinyan laid a wreath at the memorial of freedom fighters too. The number of coronavirus cases in Armenia grew by 34 in the past 24 hours, reaching 770, the Center of Control and Prevention of Diseases reports. According to the center, a total of 43 patients have recovered. 720 are getting treatment. The death toll from coronavirus in Armenia reached 7. The United States is a leader in the number of infected people in the world and claims to be the new epicenter of the virus. The number of confirmed cases of coronavirus here already exists 245,000. The death toll is 6,000. According to the forecast of the White House medical experts, the most difficult period is expected in the near future. Due to the heavy rainfall in the central sewer district of Tigranagert, Western Armenia, a flood has caused 250 livestock deaths in four farms. Rescue teams provided their assistance. There were no casualties or injuries due to the flood. While in some regions of Western Armenia, April began with snowfalls in another region, Marash, a random traveler photographer discovered a cane tree in one of the forests. The photographer informed the nature conservation authorities. The study revealed that the tree is 2,500 years old. Despite its age, the tree preserved its young and majestic forms. Now let us represent to your attention a song by Kamsar Ensemble. version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.